What up, everyone? I'm Rich Mays Lopez. And I'm Brendan Dunn from Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor at Complex Sneakers. And this is, of course, Full Size Run, your weekly talk show where we'll be talking everything sneaker related. This week, a little different from what you've seen the past four to five weeks, mm -hmm. we do not have a guest in the building mm -hmm. because everyone is out in LA for All Star Weekend. Everyone I don't who think matters. anyone wanted to hang everyone out with us matters. again, you know, but. <laughs> I think they were a little afraid to come on the show, so. <laughs> Don't be afraid to come on Full Size Run. Don't be scared. I myself will be out in L. Brennan? Um, I okay, no. I will be wealthy? enjoying. I wasn't uh, cool enough, man. Okay, New I'll York be out in LA, so if you're out in LA, say what up to me if you see me out there. So we don't have a guest, but what we will be doing in celebration of All Star Weekend, we will be breaking down some of the most important sneakers to drop this weekend. And we have a worldwide exclusive. That's right, that's right. Hit the air horn, please. Worldwide exclusive. How do you feel about that, Wealthy? Uh, I haven't even seen the shoe yet. I we haven't don't seen even the shoe know what either. it looks like. It may be hot, it may be trash. First off, I want to talk about a brand that's dominated All-Star Weekend since this whole like sneakers meets All-Star Weekend thing mm -hmm. came about. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, is Nike basketball. That pack they had. LeBron 9s, KD4s, and the Kobe's, the Galaxy stuff. Like, yeah, the there have been some huge, Killed it. Killed huge it. releases. So this week, uh, Nike Basketball is dropping all-star colorways for Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, and Paul George. The uh, LeBron 15 that was supposed to be uh, dropping this weekend has been moved back to March, so if you're looking for that, there's actually a special LeBron dropping this weekend, which we'll talk about later. But I want to ask you guys, uh, Nike Basketball in 2018, we have Kyrie's, PG's, and KD's. Does it matter? Like, does Nike Basketball still matter in 2018? This, this oh, shit man. doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This I don't think anybody matter. cares about these. No. I and mean, it's sad They're, because, like, the stuff I was talking about earlier, like, it was so much fun back then. Yes. When, when Nike Basketball was really popping and, yes. you know, the Galaxy stuff and even the next year stuff and the, the year before that was really great. But I don't know that anybody is talking about these, especially with nobody's all the retros coming yeah, nobody's talking about But the crazy part, though, is that, like, some Nike basketball stuff has mattered, but the shit they've been doing with Kyrie's actually been really good. Yes, cool. the Kyrie stuff. The Yellow Lobster, the, the Yellow Ray Lobster gun. dunks, yep. that was nuts. The, the yep. Kith LeBron 15s, like, I don't know if anybody's, like, gonna pay attention to this over, no, over fuck these shoes, one man. of the many retro Jordans. This, the this is what, this, is, this was my turning point for Nike basketball and where it went south. Galaxy killed it, yes. right? But then they redid that concept a couple years later with the Area 72 Area 70, thing. Yeah. I think that might have been the next year, maybe. Either the next yeah. year or maybe the, the year after that. And I think after that, it was like, okay, like, that's I still don't like the enough. silhouette, by the way. I know you I know you the PG? the PG too, but this is a good thing. I do not think this is a good thing. It's a good thing. So the consensus that we're coming to here is Nike basketball sneakers do not matter to All Star Weekend in 2018. Wait, why yes do or you no? Think, why no, do you I don't think, think that they this matter. This is an amazing sneaker. I'm still Wait, trying to no, get it's an amazing no, sneaker. No, no, no. no, no, no. We, oh, the PG2. Okay. We yeah, had, we I don't want an answer on that. We want to answer because you're like saying like hands down. Other than what they said, you a pair. No, but you said it was hands down the best signature basketball sneaker two years running. No, two years running. You thought, I'm not mad at last wait a year, second. but... You thought there was a better signature sneaker the last year than the PG1? The LeBron 15 is better than this. this anyways, anyway, okay. Anyway, hold Retro. up. So the consensus is Nike basketball does not matter 2018 to All-Star Weekend. Yes, no? Yes, I agree with they that. They do not matter. I agree with that. Does not matter. In it terms of matter. product releases, what, what people care about is the retro stuff. So, I mean, Jordan brand is packing yes. this week. This month is, is crazy, but you know. Hardest Jordan month, this, I think, this ever. This span right now, so gold toe Jordan 1s are yes. finally coming out. Yes. Um, OVO Air Jordan 8s are Which coming we have? out. We, we have a pair here in the studio. So these are the OVO 8s that we just mentioned. There are two flavors dropping, the black and the white. What are we thinking about gold toe 1s and the OVO pack, Brennan? Um, I like the OVO stuff more than I anticipated. I mean, it's it's pretty formulaic at this point, but yes. I just I just believe in the Drake and Jordan brand partnership, and I, I think the apparel. You believe in that? Yeah. Because you don't believe in the Justin one. Absolutely not. Which I spoke at. Wait, you don't think Justin has dances. joints? You don't think Justin Listen, has joints? Listen, everything Justin Timberlake has ever done that's cool, this included, is because he partnered up with black people, and this is the same oh, thing. We're not, we're not about to get to that conversation. Oh, we're not about to get to that conversation because we're about to. We're about to <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Yo, dude. Am I we wrong? We are about to bait Timberland? the edge lords. I was just about to say like. But you believe in the Drake one. Yeah. Why? Is Drake a sneaker? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Because this is why. What's the difference between Drake and Justin Timberlake? I just believe in it more. I just feel like Drake has been around sneakers or has been in those scenes longer than Justin Timberlake has. Okay. And the product feels more authentic. But 
to, to Wealthy's point, is Drake a sneakerhead? Like, do people care what Drake is wearing? L- listen, first of all, I fuck with Drake and I fuck with Justin Timberlake. So let's get that uh, on the record. Okay. But do people care what Drake is wearing? Yes, like, I think so. Wow. Not if it's that stuff. You had it at the first Complex Con where Wale said if Drake was actually a sneakerhead, his shoes wouldn't fucking look like this. I'm, I'm with Wale on this one, but... You don't like these? these well, are I thought o- the Air Jordan 8's like your favorite Air Jordan. But hold up. These are okay. But my thing is like, I don't think that the partnership between Drake and Jordan is any more organic than the Justin Timberlake one. Okay, well one thing we can agree on is I think that that these things where artists are endorsing sneakers or musicians are endorsing sneakers is now maybe more important or just as important as, as the athletes, right? Like we're talking about 100%. how we don't really care about what what the Nike basketball, the performance stuff that's gonna be seen on court and releasing this weekend. Can we agree on that? Yes, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, no, no one cares. No one cares what's on court. And even the guys who are wearing the interesting shit in the NBA are the guys who aren't playing in the All Star game. Like mm-hmm. PJ Tucker. Yeah, Tucker. Yeah, he's not coming out there. Jimmy Butler just hooped in Eminem fours, so that was a big deal. But to go back to the Drake and Justin Timberlake thing, I think like what Travis Scott is wearing is more important than what Drake and Justin Timberlake sure. are wearing. In my I'm personal opinion. Uh, but yes, I agree with you guys completely. By the way, Travis Scott looks like he has his own pair of Air Jordan fours coming out. We will see, right. or maybe Kylie does. People care what Drake is wearing, Justin Timberlake maybe a lot more than what LeBron is wearing in 2018. Well, that people goes to also our point. care more about what LeBron's wearing before the game. Well, of course. LeBron's been killing it on Instagram lately. 100%. Same. His IG stories is just like flex. People care about maybe what I wear more than... Uh. More than what LeBron wears. But but speaking of LeBron, though, yes. he does have a performance shoe, kind of. Yes. That's a collaboration with Mr. Ronnie Feig yeah. and Kip. Why does he get a Mr. For Do I get a Mr.? Uh, well, he's been written about in the New York Times, so oh. he gets the Mr. Uh, oh, okay. you. first. Um, okay. You have four pairs of uh, these lifestyle... Four, really? They're doing four? four? Yeah. Why? Two with the zipper, long live the king, uh, two without... With the strap. They always have the strap, though. Yeah. Yeah. Some um, of these are okay. Yeah, I've seen me. like a million teaser posts for yeah. this. Yeah. Well, the bigger news though, or whatever, the equivalent news to this is that Kith LA is opening. I'm going to be lined up? You got your uh, own uh, ice cream Have flavor? we ever met before or? <laughs> Kith LA is opening this weekend uh, in celebration of this pack and of All-Star Weekend. This to me though is way better than what Nike basketball is doing. To me it felt a little bit weird for Kith a little bit, you know. Really? I mean this isn't traditional Kith product. You yeah, know? but LeBron was walking in his. No, 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 I get, no, yeah. I, I get that. I'm just saying a kid who's usually into Kith is like buying like fucking running sneakers. Ronnie can spell fucking water to a whale, bro, at this point. Yeah, so. no, that's a fair play. I mean weird. if there's anything people care about in terms of the Nike basketball stuff, it's the older stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. retro stuff. Kobe uh, Bryant uh, Kobe has retros. something coming back. Yep. Kobe himself is not coming back, but Kobe's sneakers are coming back. Unfortunately. Pro-tro. This to me is a, a very good sneaker. Yeah? Yeah, because first of all, I went through great lengths to get the first one that dropped. From the Emma Kobe. Okay. Kobe. okay. So uh, yeah. I, I believe that you're a Kobe fan, and I, I know you're going to want to buy these or whatever, but yeah. like, I think we're going to enter in an era where a lot of people are going to pretend like this shoe meant they something to them yeah. at one point in time. Like, I'm never going to do that. Like, if yeah. you ever see me wearing a pair of these, never. slap me in the face. But for the people who don't know, this is Kobe Bryant's first signature shoe yep. with Nike, yes. but with updated technology. Yep. It's not a, just an old retro. It's not a retro. It doesn't have sand in the in the midsole, you know? <laughs> it actually has something like sort of cushioning. <laughs> the weird thing to me about this, where it's a cool concept, but who's actually buying retro sneakers, but hoping that it has like super tech in it that you can go hooping. Hoopers. But what percentage of people who are buying basketball sneakers at this point are actually playing basketball? Man? That That's a great question. I don't know. That's but what I mean. Like, how many people are actually like, like, oh shit, good. I need more cushioning in this shoe. If you're hooping and you're a, a Kobe fan and you're not pretending that this meant something to you, mm-hmm. this is a cop, right? This is like this is like the equivalent of the Air Jordan 1 coming back for a Kobe head. And yeah. that's important. That's I important. Guess so. But but speaking of retro basketball sneakers, yes. who has a better retro line to dig from? Kobe or LeBron? Kobe by far. It's not even you close. You think so? Yeah. Even with but, these, we do have the LeBron yeah. pair. We have the Wheat Air Zoom generation. These are also coming back out. This shoe, That's this one. shoe is better than the the, the Z. I like one. this one better. Uh, I mean, from a lifestyle perspective, obviously, but from a hooping perspective, this one because it has the updated technology. You're gonna test that out for us? I might. I just you might. Get some buckets. This How sneaker. How many buckets? So many. Uh, but this sneaker, as a New Yorker, to me is offensive. I hate anything that's like most Wheat things. Wheat that's not a Tim? I hate most things that are, but the only one that can get away with it is an Air Force One. Have you ever played ball in Tim's? Yes, 100%. Did you get buckets? Dog, so many. 
All of them. There's another uh, basketball player who has a shoe coming out this week. We got the, we got the Harden sneakers Mr. here. James Harden. If Fear the beard. Listen, listen, all due respect to the people at Adidas, if people don't care about Nike basketball, how do people care about Adidas basketball? Even less. Do this, we fuck with these or not? I am more interested in the Y3 crossover that he's doing. That's more those my look, space. Those look very good. Yes, that's more my space than this is my space. My space? <laughs> Friends do. Uh, so is Adidas basketball taking the yellow on this? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't put words in my mouth, but you know, I mean. Remember, Adidas is paying for his flight, so. Spawn. Wait, so you can't uh, talk shit on this? You're not going to keep it a buck? I did say that I'm not fucking with these. I All am right. fucking with the Y3 joints. Jesus, man. Shit. So, Welty, you're not a fan? Uh, I don't like basketball sneakers anyway. Oh, so. so he's not even he's not even ready to. This guy's not even getting a flight out to LA, like so he's. Out but, here. but speaking about going out to LA in general, yeah. are sneakerheads fucking with the All Star game? Are they going out there to watch the game, or are they going out there to be seen? Is that what you mean? They're going yeah. out there to be seen, right? They're going yeah. out there to resell sneakers. Oh, <laughs> I mean, not. You <laughs> Why know, are you putting fingers I'm out not, here I, for? You know, I didn't say that's a day. Oh, okay. You know, I don't just like I'm the sure general day. Are these drops more important than? What's going on in the in the game in the in the slam dunk contest? I just feel like in 2018, especially sneakerheads could care less about what's going on on the court. The slam dunk contest is complete ass. I don't know. They they break that shit every year. It gets worse and worse. Three point contest is probably the best contest out there. The skills contest also whack. And the game itself, they keep on trying to make the game as interesting as possible. This year they did the whole draft thing and they switched the whole thing up. Front row at the game. But I think the game itself is trash too. It has entertainment value, but we all know they're not playing hard. I'm trying trying to get get sneakers. And also lit, but definitely sneakers. Maybe getting lit while getting sneakers. So many sneakers, though. That's the crazy thing. It's 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 hard to even. We even had trouble like figuring out exactly how much stuff was dropping. Nike has you know stuff that you totally forgot about. These these like yeah. removable swoosh. Like why do we need this like Nike sportswear stuff to add on to all the other stuff that's already dropping and the Jordan brand stuff? Maybe I missed it. But what's the connection between this and All Star? What does this even mean? I I don't know. What? This is just a cash grab. But are they gonna? Are people gonna buy these? Are they gonna grab any cash? Out there? I just feel like you go out there and you're just like exactly. Fuck it, I'm gonna cop a pair. Something. Like, I'm gonna get something. Yeah. I'm not going home with the hand. You talking about? Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. You talking about Rich? No. I mean, Rich doesn't buy sneakers, so. Okay. Anyway, speaking of sneakers, I will most definitely be buying without a doubt. Black Cement Threes and Free Throw Line Threes to me are the most important sneakers to drop this maybe the, this, this entire year. This is the year. best sneaker release of this weekend. How do we, is that? Period. Is that pretty? I mean, this could be the release of the year, dude. I think like the Yeezy is the only one coming close. Really? Yeah. Close? Wow. I mean, what uh, do you agree? What else is coming no. close? You don't think it's close? <laughs> no. At least it's a new shoe. That's the but thing. But where, like, where does Jordan are, bring? And we have the free throw line threes too. We also have too. the free throw line threes. I don't care for these very much. Really? Man. I know you're sweating these. You're I know wilding. you're asking everybody in your in your I am. in your contacts for these. Speaking of, did you get a text back? Or? <laughs> Uh, Let me know well, if it's a clear yeah. soul? I'd <laughs> rather have fire. the 88.3s, the, the matte treatment on the heel. I just This don't... is fire. I don't want to talk about it. This I is mean, fire. No Rich, debate. You gotta, Stop debating. Rich, Stop listen debating. to me. Rich, Stop Rich, 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 Rich. No. I want you to listen to me. It has Nike Air on the back, but don't let that blind you. You're smarter than that. No, this You're is smarter a, than that. No, Think about the this two. sneaker is fucking fire, dude. A clear soul. Fire. So we should have brought the left one out. Oh, because it has the it has a red one. People, Let's um, not talk about the fucking millimeters off that the red stripe is. Like, look, sneakerheads, you guys will people are bitch about, that? about anything. No, people are people are actually angry about that. That they said that that's not exactly where Michael Jordan stepped. <laughs> <laughs> it should be more up towards the front. Yo, in of the 2018, shoe. the sneakerhead gripes get more and more petty as we go along. Rich, even you don't be, need these. I know you're so, Rich. No, I, I just need, want you to I know. I actually need three pairs. Okay. I just want you to know. Yes, you don't need. You're trying these. to save you're, me. You're what? Trying, is you're trying this to save intervention me? right yes. now? Yes, you're better than this, man. Yeah. No, I'm not Jordan as good as you think I am. <laughs> no, I'm really not. You know Jordan Brand's gonna do this the right way in three years. I'll buy them th- again too. These to me are absolute are they fire. Doing the right thing, by this is the sneaker release of the weekend, and these wealthy. are fire. Wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. That's the sneaker release of the year for you right now. These, you know, yeah. yeah. this is important too because I f- I'm pretty certain on a previous episode of Full Size Run, you said you would retire. Yes. When the Black Cement Threes yes. came out. So yes. we get a new we're, host? We're, we're, <laughs> well, I'm retiring from the game. We're days away. Are, are you gonna retire from the sneaker First game? First of all, whether or not I'm retiring from the game. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. I don't completely know, but having attained these now in my collection, right. I feel like I'm good. I feel like I'm good. You're done. Like but I, are, I are could you, walk are you away. Really done? I could, he could walk I could, away. I could, I could, walk, away. I could walk away happy. There's another sneaker dropping this weekend that's yes. absolutely fucking fire. What sneaker is that? Yeah, I don't. And it's not it's, this one. It's something uh, made by uh, one Kanye West. Now, are you? Is this just because it's an Adidas? This like, is fire. I don't get this. This, this is fire. I agree this is with fire. him. I agree yes. with him. But this is not Matt Wilty fire. I can never see Matt Wilty caring 
or caring about or liking the shoe, but let me see these. You know, explain this. To You're me, gonna wealthy. wear a Kanye West sneaker, Matthew J. Wealthy. Wait, you don't like these? these, these are, like, they're good. They're not okay. fire. Okay. Yo, this suede is buttery on it. I love the. This the, is a, this is an Adidas thing, Bro, right? I he's not, getting a check. I could not see. I could no. not see. Do you think he's getting a check? We what? As, hashtag, as I'm wearing, put a hashtag ad next to him. Checks, I could not see you putting a Kanye West sneaker on your feet, bro. I think there's something wrong here. Think no, these are these are pretty good. Here. I like the direction he's going in. I really I really like the direction of this shoe. You Wait, need but more people. You, you Wait, you don't like this sneaker? It's a, it's a good sneaker. Wait, so I said like the direction of the shoe and you say well, I need more people? What because the fuck are you from talking Matt about? Wealthy? From Matt Wealthy, I don't believe this it. This is what I want to know bro, from Matt I'm, Wealthy. Bro, what am I in a will fucking you, box? Will you agree with us that the, the Black Cement 3 is the best sneaker releasing for All-Star Weekend? Or do you think it's this easy? It's this. This is it? Wow. That's this is it. Black Cement 3? It's this. This is it? Wow. There's one sneaker that I we haven't even release. seen yet. Yes. That's releasing this weekend, yes. right? We have an exclusive on which deck. Which might, which might then take the crown? Now, now this is a Pharrell Adidas. That's basically is it? all we know about it. Rich, Wait, you wanna... shout out to the good people at Adidas for blessing us with this exclusive. It is even vacuum though, even sealed, Even though you I still assume. owe Rich a pair of NERD <laughs> NMDs. Let's, let's, let's not, not forget, forget about that, that shit. Rich, where, you want to cut this Where are they open? at, Wex? You know what? I'll hold it. Okay. I'll hold it. Little, and and B, you can come here. through. Now, we, we have no idea what these look like. And... None. Pharrell just teased them very quickly on his Instagram. Not many people do. You want to flip it over for me, Rich? This is a worldwide exclusive here, people. Wealthy, are you excited for this? Flip it and snip it, bro. Bro, what are you? I have <laughs> no idea, man. How many sneakerheads does it take to open up a bag? If we Let's fuck see. this up, does that mean we can't resell it? No, we're we're reselling. This. Are we splitting it? Yeah, what are we, we cop? What are we copping? We're gonna split the five. Yeah, five yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 Yes. Did you already look at them? I saw the backside. And like, what is Ash? How did um, it look? I, I really didn't see much, bro. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, if I could. What is this shoe called? Do we know what the shoe's fucking I think it's called, called the Pharrell Boosie. Okay. There it is. Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay. Interesting. Let's Very interesting. Let's have a look. What does it say on the top? Mine says ambition. Same. Ambition. Did, you said mine? Those are yours? Uh, the one I'm holding. So this you is wanna do the, pose? the Pharrell, there we go. The Pharrell Rich? Crazy. There you wanna go. do the, there you go. Pharrell Crazy Boost You Wear Pharrell Williams. So obviously it's a combination of what he does on his NMD hiking joints and the Boost You Wear sole, which is kind of similar to that, but what they're dropping with the Boost You Wear stuff, like the Boost You Wear X and stuff. I was, I'll be honest with you, I was not expecting this. Are this is dope? I, mean, I don't know. Would you wear them? No. I, I, I just hate the sock collar on those shoes. You know, I don't think that these are bad at all, but they're just not for me personally. What do you think, B? I'm okay with them, but yeah. the, the sole's a little too bulky. I think I would rather have a pair of Pharrell NMDs, but I'm glad that they're like giving him new models to work with, you know what I mean? Yeah, he just did the we've cleated seen, stuff. Yeah, we've seen so many NMDs that like, uh, I think most of us are tired of that shoe. What do you I'm, think, what do you think, Will? I'm glad that these actually came in a sock package. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the easy. Who, question though, who's doing better shoes with Adidas right now? Uh, Pharrell. Really? Yeah. This Pharrell is better Williams? than this? What's better? Bro, you're riding no. so hard body for this sneaker. This shoe is awesome. <laughs> that fucking suede, How that colorway. How did this happen? How did Adidas <laughs> convince Walter to I don't like know. this shoe? I'm anyway, so this confused, is the Pharrell man. boost you wear, uh, dropping at Ulster Weekend so alongside like everything that's dropping here. Shout out to the good people at Adidas for letting us unveil the sneaker, like I said, I think it's cool. It's just personally not for me. It's not for Matt Wealthy because it has a sock on it. Is Brendan, it for me? Is it for you? I'm asking. Probably not. I can see you, you rock these, though. Could you I can see you rock this? these. You're supposed to be able to open it. Hooping this? You're supposed to be able to open it, yeah. How? We're going to try. I'll let you know. Uh, so that takes us to our weekly cop and drop. There are a billion fucking things dropping this weekend. Obviously, you guys already know what I want. Uh, I already got the Black Cement 3, so Tell me, I, do you have one pair? All right. I, I need three minimum. What I need now, though, if you can help with this, is free throw threes. I need at least two pairs. The word is need. Minimum. Necessary. Okay. I'm not going to help you because I already told you Wait, that, I thought you said after you were done this. that you don't need that shoe. <laughs> Here he well, is. Well, these came out. But these are coming out Here before the Black Cement yep. What's your uh, drop, right? I am dropping the gold. Gold toe one, uh, that's because I had the top threes already and I don't see why we need both of them, personally. For this week, uh, my drop really, 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 really sucks. Mm. 100%? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's the Bape uh, Dame Lower. You guys both hate this shoe, right? I don't I don't understand what's this so one, offensive This one grew this. on me a little bit. I don't understand the connection. I feel like the world's actually gone mad because this is a fucking collaboration. I, I don't understand the connection between Bape and Dame Lillard. I like Bape he and Dame Lillard. He claims he liked it or something when he was like younger. Like okay. some shit. I, I love Bape. I like Dame Lillard separate. I don't like them together. It's, it's okay though. It grew on me. It grew on me. 
But it doesn't well, suck 100%. It's okay. What I'm copying though, already already put it out there. Hard body. This is my size? All right. Ooh, size so you're gonna, you're no, gonna try and copy something some easy. Something's up. I don't think it's gonna something's happen. Up. For me, I am copying the black cement. Jordan 3s, uh, as you guys know, that's one of the few Jordans that I will actually Could you retire wear. from Jordans after this? Yeah, probably. Yeah. There's not like a lot of stuff out there I really want. Okay. Olive fives, like just random things. Olive fives? Like, yeah. like the Do you retire from sneakers? Yeah, yeah. No. Um, I am dropping the Russell Westbrook Why Not City Edition thing. I just think that like Jordan brand kind of shot itself in the foot like by releasing so many retros that people care about this stuff even less. Not that a lot of people were going to care about it. That's just how I feel about it. Um, before we get out of here. What percentage of the shoes suck? What percentage? Yeah. Like on a scale of one to God, this is awful, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the shoe sucks like uh, 82%. 82%. Yeah, so it's 18% of it's okay? It's a hard 82. Does it suck okay. more than Russell Westbrook fits? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, wait a Before second. we get out of here today, we do have a mailbag question. Wilson PHX Josh on Twitter is asking a lot of things. We're going to just focus in on one, and that's do we think that Jordan Brand is pushing too hard on the retros? for this month. I think yes. Uh, you know, okay. there, there are 12 months in a year. We know that February is the biggest year for sneakers. Yep. We're going to anticipate a lot of stuff, but Black Cement 3s yep. as, as a marquee release would have been enough. You didn't have to put the free throw ones next to okay. it or the gold toes. But you wouldn't be able to drop that shoe days. ever then. What what shoe? The free throws. Because you're saying it, it, it too. The ties to it, it, it's Okay, like, I just think that there's too many. It's, okay, it's just like what the fuck else are they gonna release? They gotta make I money mean, just somehow. Like space it out, man. Uh, would you, aren't you happy that they're releasing this other than that? What like, the free throw threes? No. No, <laughs> I mean like this no. rather than like a pair of Air Jordan threes that are like fucking gray suede with like blue hits on them or something <laughs> stupid. You know? I think they have dropped those before. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. some dumb shit that you're just like, this is garbage. I'm kind of with wealthy here, like. How else are you gonna make a big splash during All Star All-Star Weekend? All Star Weekend. I know, but you don't need everything. Why not? Fucking throw the house at them. Uh, you just I mean, that because you're gonna be it, there. And if they really wanted to, they could drop all those fucking fire uh, Justin Timberlake threes and make you really happy. <laughs> There might actually be a pop-up in the woods out, outside somewhere. <laughs> what was the last time Justin Timberlake was in the a woods? Pop up man? in the woods on his in album the cover. Woods? So, again, to wrap this up, fellas, it has All Star Weekend become more about sneakers than it has become about the NBA, Brendan. For me, yeah. I, you know, I don't care about the All-Star game that much. So, you know, the, the answer for me has always been yeah, though. So, so maybe I'm not the right person to ask this question. I think it's a big fucking party. That's what everyone goes there for, man. And so it's not about the game. It's not about the partying and about the sneakers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everyone, it's like it's like Complex Con, but like fucking another, another event, you know? Where right. it's like people were just, it was all resellers out there. Like people do come for part of the cultural participation yeah. or whatever, but it's like motherfuckers. To flex on IG. Motherfuckers want shoes. They just want to prove that they're there. Yeah. That's the only reason that you it's know. become a destination event yeah yeah i think that also weekend has become like the sneaker super bowl it's like the biggest mm. event of the year besides so to Comics remedy Con. that this weekend you'll be focusing only on the game only on the game and not any of the sneakers in absolutely there, right? yeah. so you're a purist right yeah yeah, yeah you're a purist <laughs> on that note i'm rich Mays lopez i'm brendan dunn from soul collector i'm matt wealthy editor of complex sneakers if you're out in la this weekend for all star say what's up if you see me that was full size run and you can prove whether Peace. rich gets buckets or not oh we can do that if you want to. We need to do that. Listen, this is important. I need you to subscribe. They're going to make me keep wearing these fake Skechers Yeezys until we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please, subscribe to Soul Collector on YouTube. Now.